Hello, this is Mike Panaki with Network Protocol Specialists, and in this little video, I'm going to show you how we can set up T-Shark to quickly capture the disk so that we can capture for a long period of time and be able to get those packets in there so that when there's a problem, we can go in and analyze them. So what I've done is I've come out here and I've gone to the Wireshark directory, and this is where Wireshark was installed when I installed it on my PC. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to type T-Shark minus capital D. Now when I do that, what it will do is it will show me a list of all of the interfaces on my machine. Now in this case, what I'm interested in is this Broadcom NIC. Now if your machine has multiple NICs in it, you just need to find the one that's connected to the network that you want to monitor. Now once I've done that, I'm going to type in a set of commands that will cause Wireshark to capture, write the files to disk, and then create a ring buffer. So in this case, I'm going to type dump cap. Now dump cap is an application that T-Shark calls. So for capturing for a long period of time, what we found is dump cap uses fewer resources over time. Then I'm going to type minus little i4, because I was interested in that broad, Broadcom NIC and capturing on interface number 4. Next, I'm going to hit minus b, and I'm going to put in files colon. Now what this will do is tell me how big, or tell dump cap, how big we want that ring buffer to be. In this case, I want the ring buffer to be 100 files. Then I'm going to hit minus B again and type in file size, and I'm going to put in 30,000. Now what this does is this tells it to cr create each file and make it 30 meg in size. So this is in kilobytes. So we will have 130 meg files. Now as soon as we hit 100 files, it will overwrite the oldest file. So this gives us a pretty good buffer of traffic. I'm going to finish this up by putting minus W in here, and then I'm going to call it internet.pcap. Now when I do that, every one of these trace files will start with the word internet. It will then have a uh, file number and then a time and date stamp so we can see when that file was started. So now I'll hit enter and we can see that it's starting to capture packets and it's writing it to the first file named internet underscore zero 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 one underscore and then today's date and time. So this way we can capture these files and write them out to this disk and be able to go back and review those files later. So I hope this helps you find those nagging intermittent problems that you have out there. For more information on protocol analysis and troubleshooting please visit our website at www.nps-llc.com.